on today's Lady Boss segment, she leads a team of over 400 and serves 11,000 youth in the Chicago Public Schools. And she was just awarded the Illinois Social Worker of the Year Award. Please welcome Michelle Adler Morrison, CEO of Youth Guidance. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Congratulations on the honor. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, but you're probably doing work that you're just so passionate about and you didn't even need the award, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, they gave me this beautiful award is from the National Association Association of Social Workers. Yeah. I didn't get a tiara, but I got this gorgeous <laughs> award and it means so much to me, I can't even explain it. Right. Tell us about Youth Guidance and what it does. So um, Youth Guidance is this amazing Chicago-based organization. We work with youth through the Chicago Public Schools and we also launched a program in Boston. We create and implement school-based programs to remove obstacles for youth to help them succeed in school, um, succeed in life. We have an amazing set of staff who are incredibly creative. Uh -huh. I look at them as just social justice warriors across the city of Chicago. Right, right. Well, you clearly are a lady boss to be leading this team of 400 employees and then helping out 11,000 youth in a couple of the programs you've done. One is called BAM mm -hmm. and one is called WILD. Tell us what BAM stands for. So BAM stands for becoming a man. Mm -hmm. So it's not like be a man, it's becoming a man. This yes. idea that um, we had a staff person, Tony DiVittorio, who created this program, um, focused on this idea that young men are looking to other men uh, in search of who they're becoming in this world. So right. created a program. We have over 100 Becoming a Man counselors, BAM staff, uh -huh. who work full time in the schools and they create these safe, nurturing circles that help young men navigate. These are seventh through 12th graders, help them navigate through this transition from boyhood into adulthood. And right. it is demonstrating significant uh, results, reducing um, dropout, mm -hmm. increasing graduation rates, yep. helping young men develop integrity and accountability and really moving the needle on reducing youth violence in right. the city of Chicago. And you have to figure that some of these young men may not have that father figure at home to teach them how to become a man. So that's why these programs are so needed, just as much for young ladies too, because there's WOW working on womanhood yeah, too. So BAM and WOW again, yeah. created by our staff who are paying incredibly close attention to what youth are telling them they need. And just to clarify with BAM, we look at our BAM counselors as being like the cool uncle. Yeah. You know, so they're there, they can, uh, young men can talk to them about the things they might have challenges talking to their own parents about. Um, and WOW, working on womanhood, uh -huh. um, is this amazing program. Uh, we work with young women, 7th through 12th grade, um, many of whom have been exposed to significant trauma. Mm. Um, and young women being very different than boys, um, not really being able to put words on that. So our staff are there again. Um, creating these safe spaces, these emotionally safe spaces, where young women can, for the first time in many cases, talk about the trauma they've experienced. And what we're seeing with WOW is a very significant reduction in um, anxiety, wow. depression, and symptoms of post-traumatic stress. Right, and we got a chance to talk to some of these folks from BAM and WOW. Take a listen. Facing all of your challenges, all of your fears, and actually being accountable for it. I feel like I've grown not only just with trusting people, but with actually being able to think before you react and take accountability. They replace my negative thoughts with positive thoughts, and they, they with me 100% along the way. I would like to be a young lady who thinks before I act on a certain situation. I want to be someone who doesn't let my emotions control me and get the best of me. Becoming a man, it never stops. And so you gotta keep on learning, you gotta keep on pushing forward. So it's it's been a it's been a joy seeing that they are, you know, embracing, being comfortable in this whole safe haven we've built here. Now they're able to see the future. Hey coach, you know, look at my grades. I've been I've improved. Look at this. I see all of my girls either going to college or joining the workforce. The journey to womanhood means to me lessons in life there's always a lesson to be learned so all you have to do is first be attentive you have to pay attention and figure out what is the lesson what am i learning and then you have to be receptive to this lesson oh sky's the limit for my boys i am working on womanhood i am becoming a man i am working on womanhood i am becoming a man oh that's amazing 
And that just has to make you feel so good and keep you doing what you're doing as a lady boss to hear that it's working. Absolutely. I think any one of those young women in WOW are going to be lady bosses someday. They're going to be sitting right here speaking with you and just sharing their story. Yeah. We, we're working with youth that have this incredible potential yeah. and oftentimes the narrative out there they is just need somebody to pull potential. it out of them. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What does it mean to you to be a lady boss? Oh, it means the world to me. I, um, my parents actually met in social work school. So my mom's from Boston. My dad grew up here in Albany Park in the city. Um, and they met in social work school and our dinner conversations at home were always about social justice. So I was hearing about disproportionate rates of incarceration for African American males since I was little. Mm -hmm. And those conversations were stirring and compelling. And I ended up going into social work after both of my older sisters became social workers. And so this idea that um, I'm in a leadership role and that I get to kind of mentor and hopefully be a catalyst for future social workers means everything. Yeah. It's an amazing honor, and it's an amazing honor to be a leader at an agency like Youth Guidance. Yeah, because, you're carrying the torch oh, for sure. And awesome. there's no shortage of conversations between five social workers That's right. at the dinner table <laughs> at the holidays, right? <laughs> it is especially considering our certain current climate as That's well. Right. There's lots to talk about. That's right, and I'm modeling at home. I have three children, and you know, we can- Three be, more social workers that. coming I up? I don't know about that. <laughs> Hopefully one of them will do something to make some money, but the conversation is important. You know, my parents instilled in us a sense that um, while you're here, you do your part. Mm -hmm. And I think that's all we can ask of one another. Do our part, um, do social good, and make a difference. All right, you're doing that, Michelle. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. For more information on Youth Guidance, check out their website.